Okay, here's the Thermaltake Take armor. This case is completely pulled apart, um, at least mostly pulled apart. Uh, this, uh, the top, bottom, front, and back, just the bare frame there. Um, don't need to pull that apart. It's all going to be the same color, and so uh, there's really no absolute reason to pull that the rest of the way apart. But as you can see, uh, motherboard tray back there. This is a side panel. Um, this is the back part of the back panel where the power supply connects, screws in. We've got the drive bays, some top molding there. Um, we got the window back there, and then here we have all of our screw, little miscellaneous screws and drive bays and fans and all that laid out. So, got this case completely pulled apart. Next step is going to be to lightly sand everything and get it ready for paint. Now, I will just note that I don't do powder coating. Um, I don't have the facility I need to do powder coating right now. So, all I'm set up to do is just spray paint. I've got an, uh, an actual air, or, uh, an airbrush, a paint gun. But I don't use that most of the time. I like using oil paints, and I've found that for the most part, a cup sprayer or airbrush, um, at least with computer parts where I'm not doing a lot of different really fine layers, um, solid colors and that kind of thing, just spray cans works decent. You know, it has about the same look and it's really, it's a lot easier than, than running oil paint through an airbrush and cup sprayer and then having to constantly clean that out and just creates a lot of work and gigantic mess. So, um, yeah, so for now I'm just using spray cans. Uh, if I got some really delicate work or some something that I'm trying to logo, I'm trying to spray on or something, I'll definitely get the airbrush out for that. But for the most part, just spray cans. And I'll show the end results when I'm done here. Thanks for watching. Josh Goff out.